Papa, you're the face of death. What does the doctor say? <coughs> Do not worry, ma chérie. It is only... <coughs> Papa! <coughs> my dear love, do not frown so. Between your worry and your stepmother's tonic, the malady hurts less than the cure. <laughs> ah. Oh, Jeanne. You were always so protective of that locket. I have always regretted... Evelyn. I am sorry for interrupting, but I need your assistance. It is urgent. Of course. I love you, Papa. <laughs> there is a slave, George. I promised him safe passage to the north, but during his escape he was discovered by soldiers. He hides, but... Please, is there anything you can do? With your business booming and your contacts in the bayou? Oui. I will get him to safety. In utmost discretion. Yes? Come with me. What? Hurry, they're closing in. Who are you? What are you? No one said anything about avenging angels or... Go. Find safety in the bayou. Evelyn! Who is this? George, a friend. We have a situation I'm hoping you'll help with. Evelyn, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. But uh, we've got a situation of our own brewing. Our um, Spanish friends want us to hand these supplies over to some, how do you say, patriot, at the edge of the swamp. Patriots. Well, you know, from the north. A rebellion, upheaval, etc. A business opportunity by any other name. But for some reason, the Spanish soldiers keep trying to steal the supplies back. This sounds awfully familiar. You don't think... Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> Suppose George and I were to help you with your rogue Spanish soldier problem. Would your patriot friends escort him north? If they want more supplies, they'll accept. Good. Let's go. These are the goods? Everything the Gouverneur promised. And a few uh, bonus items from your friends in the bayou. Excellent. You weren't detected, I hope? Not by any who still breathes. <laughs> Monsieur Hopton, how secret is your arrangement with our Spanish Gouverneur? Any fool can see the Spanish want to keep the English out of their territory. Any sense why Spanish soldiers would be shooting at us? We did meet one man who didn't seem so keen on the arrangement. Contrary fellow. Vasquez, I think was his name? The company man is here. The what man? <coughs> uh, Monsieur Hopton, 
If you want your supplies to make it out of La Louisiane, additional security would be wise. May I suggest George accompany you? Certainly. If he's willing to fight, the Patriot cause will be glad to have him. I will fight for you, sir. Over any cause. Be careful, Monsieur Hopton. I hope to see you again. Um... Monsieur Roussillon and I value your business. I will. The, uh... Patriots value your support. Aveline! Gérald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gérald. And, um, Aveline, I... You will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Gérald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Oui. For, um, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Strictly business, of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope. Salutations. Revolution! <laughs> what a noble concept! Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods. I relay them to my associates in the bayou. And they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. <laughs> for me! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Aveline. Lovely as ever. How does your father fare? Stubborn, as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet soon. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That is very kind, Monsieur de Saint-Maxin. And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Félicité. Who do you think I should marry? <laughs> uh, whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me dance with all of you. I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicite, I thought the De saint maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now, who is this? Senorita, give us your name. ...that we may know how to address the fairest woman at the ball. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is beguiling. Uh, please, senorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. We need the uniform. He is no true military man, I assure you. Twice, recruiters have approached me, claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. But I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, the danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. <laughs> We were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table. Until the gavotte, Capitan. I shall think of nothing else. I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. 
Sí, sí. Can we retire somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. Good night, company man. Company man? <laughs> no. You are mistaken. What? <laughs> Futile murder and beautiful death. She will make you suffer. <laughs> <laughs>